We're here this morning with Dr. Tim Cantifer, author of Sheldon Press's new book, Beating Insomnia Without Really Trying. Tim, thank you so much. Sure. It comes across very early on in the book that sleep isn't something that we can will. The title of the book is Beating Insomnia Without Really Trying, which as anyone who suffers from insomnia or has any kind of experience with a poor night's sleep might know. Uh, I was just wondering if you could elaborate a bit more on how sleep works. Yes, absolutely. There are many causes of insomnia, but probably the most common is stress. And if you are somebody who's very stressed, you're probably somebody who's used to trying very hard at things, who doesn't like to, uh, to fail. And therefore, presented with this problem, you probably use the same mechanisms which you've always used, which is if you don't at first succeed, try, try and try again. And that's exactly what you don't need to do for sleep. Sleep works on natural rhythms. And there's a, um, a switch in your brain which switches off the hormone which produces sleep. This switch is switched on by light. And of course, light happens in cycles. The problem is that in uh, northern latitudes like ours, uh, the amount of light that you get throughout the year varies a great deal. Uh, and therefore, our body has become adapted to using other cues other than light. So, in order to be able to, to sleep, you have to have rhythms. In order to sleep well, you can't force it to happen, but you can start doing all the right things, leading your life in balance with fairly consistent rhythms. Then sleep will appear. It's rather like if you want birds in your garden, you can put a bird table out, you can keep the cats away, you can put some grain on the table, but you can't make the birds come. They'll come when they're ready. Sleep will come when it's ready. You can just stop doing some of the right things.